All right, what's up, guys? It is K. Since we're here, and oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> guys, you guys, you guys, <laughs> it's real. It happened. We got it. We got the release date for Kingdom Hearts Three. It's real. Oh my god, <laughs> I am just. Mm, it's real. It happened after five years, exactly five years of waiting for this game. We actually have a release date for it now. Oh my god. <laughs> I know there's a big, big old caveat to it. I know there's the biggest caveat to it ever. Well, two caveats really. But still, we have a release date for the game. It's real. And it's happening. And it's time, my boys. It is time. It is time. And yeah. It's enough fangirling from me. Oh, uh, why don't we just get into it? So today, if you are not aware, and if you haven't been looking at Twitter, which if you haven't, what the fuck are you even doing? Um, today was the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra event um, that I've been hyping up in all my videos and stuff like that. Today, June 9th. Um, so over there in LA, um, there was a con the orchestra concert. Um, and a lot of people were there, a lot of big YouTubers were there, um, all the key keepers were there, and a lot of KH13 people were there as well. And, of course, at this event, it was just the concert, um, they were supposed to be really secretive about the game, um, they were supposed to keep their cell phones off and all that stuff. Um, so it was real secret stuff. Um, but near the end of the event, we got it. We finally fucking got it. So, Tsunamura comes up on stage, he's talking all his stuff, and that he says he apologizes for not releasing the game on schedule. And when I first saw that, I was like, what? Kingdom Hearts 3 got delayed, what? <laughs> and then, it happened. It finally happened. Kingdom Hearts 3's release date was officially revealed to the public. You do not know how long I've been wanting to say this on video. Oh my god. So do this kingdom hearts 3 will be released on january 29th 2019 and january 25th 2019 in japan okay <laughs> we actually have the release date now yo it's coming out it's officially coming out on a date in the world oh god <laughs> it's real it's so real now okay so let's just Unpackage this. Let's just, just unpackage this. All right. It got delayed. All right. Let's just get that that all the way first. It got delayed. And yeah, it does suck that it got delayed. Um, they kept on saying 2018. We all kept on believing it was 2018 because we really didn't have any other reason to not believe it was. Um, but now it's been officially confirmed that they just can't do that. So. In my personal opinion, I was, when I first saw the news, I was shocked. I was just, I was just in total shock because I just, I just didn't expect that because they kept on saying 2018 and now it's 2019. So I was shocked. And then I was mad. Of course, like everyone gets mad because I felt like I'd been lied to. I felt like it was just a big bamboozle, you know what I mean? And you're making me wait further for this game? Come on. Um... So I was mad for just the tiniest bit. And then I just came to the understanding because I understand why they did it. All right. Everyone should understand why they did it. Don't be mad at Tetsuo Nomura at all because this is not on him. I mean, he was the person who made this executive decision, but he did it for a reason. He wouldn't just do it because he wanted to. No, there was a reason why he did it. And I'm thinking what happened was it was going to be released in 2018. Um, as until, like, May of this year. Because in May of 2018, um, you know the Kingdom Hearts 3 premiere event happened. Where all the Kingdom Hearts YouTubers got over there, um, and got to play the game and gave their impressions of it. Um, and if you've seen any of the, uh, Kingdom Hearts YouTubers' impressions of it, specifically Sora Island 1, because he goes way in-depth on that, because he's, that's just who he is. Um, he was talking about a lot of issues with the game. He said there were a lot of issues with the game. Like he said, from what I remember, like, the game was really floaty. Um, the game's controls were really floaty. Um, some mechanics didn't really work right. Um, and just stuff like that. So, they said they were going to be looking at those videos. And they were going to be looking at those impressions of it. And so what I think happened was that they saw the videos that they showed them. Um, and they showed them, like, the issues and stuff and brought it to Tattoo Nomura. 
Um, and he decided that he wanted it to be the best game it could possibly be, because that's what he wants to do. That's all he wants to do. He just wants us to give us the best game he possibly can. And the only way he could do that in a reasonable amount of time um, to fix these issues that they brought up is to delay the game. So I'm guessing this was a very, very recent decision to do this because it's such a um, switch up that from what they've been saying. So this is very clearly a recent decision on their part. Um, so um, what I think happened was, again, um, they saw all the reactions from the YouTubers. Um, they said that they want to fix those issues. And the only way they could do that is to delay the game and make the game the best thing it could possibly be. Um, so that's what I think what it happened there. Um, so don't get mad at Tetsuya anymore for this. Don't get mad at anyone for this, really. Because all he wants to do is make the best game he can possibly make. Um, because that's that's just what he wants to do. And the only way they can do that is if they delay the game. And, and fix those issues that those YouTubers brought up. So, just don't be mad at him. He's trying his best. Um, again, he says he's very, very sorry for this. He really does feel bad that he's doing this to us, I know. Um, he seemed really apologetic from what people have been saying. Um, so don't get mad at the messenger, all right? Um, like a quote from Shigeru Miyamoto, the maker Mario, said, um, a delayed game is forever good, a rushed game is forever bad. So, um, just keep that in mind, all right? I'm fine with the release date. We, we have a release date, all right? Don't, we have a release date in the first place, all right? That should be reason enough to get hyped. Who cares if it's not 2018 anymore? It's still a release date. It still looks something to look forward to. And it's still something to get hyped about. Alright? So, January 29th, 2019. And January 25th. Um, in Japan. Four days earlier in Japan. Which, I don't get either. Um, I may be getting the Japanese version four days early. Because I don't want to get spoiled. But yeah. We have the release date now. Get hyped. Who cares if it's not releasing in 2018 anymore? We're getting in the game now, and I bet it's going to be awesome. Okay, so moving on from that, uh, sorry I spent a long-ass time on that. I just rambled a lot. Um, it's just the biggest piece of Kingdom Hearts news out that we've ever gotten. You know what I mean? The actual release date for the game. So I had to talk about it for a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on from that, we actually got a new trailer for the game. They didn't put it out. I mean, just yet. Anyways. Um, so maybe they'll be releasing during this recording. I'll be fucking mad. I don't know. Um, but we do have some details from it, but from people who saw it and it's probably going to be released, um, at the Square Enix press conference or Microsoft, press conference, whatever, um, during E3. So let's go over the details. So the, I'm reading this directly from a tweet from the gamers one because he has the most organized list of it. Um, so here is what was in the new trailer. First, we get to see Zexen, Zigsbar, Zigbar, what am, what am I fucking talking about? I can't pronounce that name ever. Um, and Lee in a scene. They don't, he doesn't say specifically what kind of scene that is. Um, but we know that they are going to be in the trailer. So nice to confirm to see that. Then we get to see Hayner, Pence, and Olette running from a heartless swarm in Twilight Town. So we've already seen Hayner, Pence, and Olette in that recent trailer that we got all the way back at the um, Daniel Line event. Um, so. Uh, nice to know that we're going to be still getting that, you know what I mean? And we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with them, too. So, awesome. There is a scene in the trailer with Kyrie and Aqua sitting next to each other. Ooh, boy. Um, lesbian vibes going on there? <laughs> Whatever. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you. I wouldn't do that. Um, but, yeah. Um, we now know that some part of the story is going to be intertwined with them, too. Um, some part of the game will involve them, too, directly. So, nice to see that that's going to be in the game as well. Um, I'm interested to see how that's going to go down. Um, I wonder what kind of story they'll have together. That'll be interesting. And finally, we get a possible new world, possibly not. Um, it really wasn't clear from the tweets. Um, Sora was seen cooking with Remy from Ratatouille. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Ratatouille world confirmed. Um, from what I've been hearing, um, they don't know if it's a new world or if it's a summon, like with Wreck-It Ralph. Um, that remains to be seen. But, I'm pretty sure that it's probably going to be a summon because they didn't show, it's like, oh, new world, stuff like this, blah, blah, blah. They didn't show big stuff like that. So, I'm guessing it's going to be some sort of summon. But, we'll just have to wait and see for, like, the Square Enix press conference or something like that to see if that's true. So, possible new world confirmed? 
Kingdom Hearts 3? Maybe? Hmm. So, yeah, that's pretty much all they talked about tonight at the thing. Um, they did not release the trailer on YouTube, unfortunately, so I can't really show it to you guys. Um, but maybe we'll see it later tonight, I don't know. Um, but we'll probably see it at some sort of press conference, more likely Square Enix 1. Um, but yeah, it finally happened, guys. It finally happened. We have a release date for Kingdom Hearts 3. Yo, that is hard to believe. Um, I know it got delayed. I know. But it's to make the game better, alright? So, don't get mad. That's, it's just what has to happen. Um, and also, um, I know it sounds like a long ways away to January 29th. Sounds like a long ways away. It's exactly, it's exactly 234 days away. So that sounds like a long time. It feels like a long time. But compared to that, we've been waiting five years for this game. And less than a year is going to go by like no time. All right. There's going to be so much news and so much information to come out during that time period to keep us busy. So, it's it's gonna it's gonna be here before you know it, man. King of Hearts three, and it's gonna be pretty awesome. All right. So yeah, it's official. King of Hearts three, January 29th, ninth, twenty nineteen. Yo, get hyped. So that's all I want to talk about with you guys today. I'm make sure down comes below your opinion on this. What do you think about the release date for the game? Are you excited? Are you hyped? Um, what is your opinion on the delay? All that stuff. Make sure right down comes below your opinion. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video because that'd be really awesome if you did. This has been K Central, and I will see you guys later.